Hello, I'm Antonio Mora, and this is the News and News.com Day in Brief. It is Wednesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. As one headline put it, Presidents Trump and Macron solidify political bromance with state visit. That certainly seems to be the case, and it may suit the objectives of both leaders. Trump looks more presidential when hosting a foreign leader, and Macron's charm offensive may be part of a bid to lead Europe and a nod to French exceptionalism. However, policy differences between the two men were evident, and a war of words between Trump and Iran over the nuclear agreement, something under discussion between the leaders, is escalating, not waning. The nomination of White House Dr. Ronnie Jackson to head the VA could be on the rocks. The Senate postponed his confirmation hearing amid reports he oversaw a hostile work environment, allowed the overprescription of drugs, and drank on the job. CIA Director Mike Pompeo is now almost certain to become Secretary of State after he came close to not getting the okay from the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. But the nominee to succeed him at the CIA, Gina Haspel, is facing a brutal confirmation fight and guns are already blazing on both sides. In our alternate universe segment, the great divide between liberal and conservative media was clear during the White House welcoming ceremony when Fox cut away soon after Trump ended speaking, while CNN broadcast Macron's speech in full. Later, right after the leaders' joint press conference, CNN highlighted Ronnie Jackson's nomination struggle, while Fox and MSNBC focused on the international issues raised. In general, CNN and MSNBC paid a lot more attention to the VA nomination fight than Fox, which downplayed it. In sports, the Toronto Maple Leafs managed to extend their NHL playoff series to a decisive game against the Boston Bruins. But a much more powerful moment came before the game, with a moment of silence for the victims of the Toronto Massacre, followed by everyone in the stadium joining in an emotional rendition of the Canadian National Anthem. Finally, a rare occasion to celebrate a politician. On deeply polarized Capitol Hill, any whiff of bipartisanship and civility is welcome. The success of Pompeo's nomination in committee came down to Republican Senator Johnny Isaacson of Georgia, who was stuck back home after giving a eulogy at a close friend's funeral. In stepped Democrat Chris Coons of Delaware, who opposes Pompeo's nomination. Instead of voting against Pompeo, he chose to help his friend Isaacson and voted present, allowing a favorable recommendation. Senator Bob Corker choked back tears at the welcome and rare display of statesmanship and courtesy. We have all those stories and much more updated around the clock on newsandnews.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the right of your screen just below this video. And please follow me on Twitter at AmoraTV. I'll see you again tomorrow.